Okay, I got a call last night uh, from a new homeowner. The house that he just bought, the previous homeowner took the expansion valve for the irrigation system. So he went out and bought a brand new one. So what's going to happen here is this. <clears throat> this coupler here on the old one probably does not match. So we take the chance I take the chance of this thread pattern in here not being the same what's on the old one. This is the female end, okay? So this is the replacement part for that. He went out and bought this expansion valve for the irrigation system and the other homeowner took all the other parts. So the the problem you run into is this that I measured and hopefully this picks up on the camera and everything the problem I run into and it's not really a problem it's just it's all about mathematics from here to here is exactly 12 inches For the two lines that come up, the inbound and the outbound water lines that come up out of the ground is exactly 22 and a half. So here's 22 and a half. So what has to happen is right there, put it halfway in. and put it right at 22 and a half here. So when you put this entire thing together, and of course this piece will give me the other part of the PVC line that I need to connect these two. This entire thing on the 90 degree elbows cannot be no more than 22 and a half inches. So when I build this, these go in here, of course with thread tape. And you got to be very, very careful. Then this goes into here. Of course, I'm going to cut this thread off. So this cut that I make here has to be exact. And this then fits on here like that. And you get the idea. Then this piece goes in here and this marries up to these two parts here. So this cannot be no more than, once this is threaded in, and this is cut, this can be no more than five and one quarter inches from the inside thread to the 90 degree, and it has to be five and a quarter. So my total length cannot exceed 22 and a half when I put all this together. Part you'll need, of course, is thread tape, a hacksaw or a PVC saw, and then, of course, all the, the parts. So that's my project. Now, he also, uh, during the storm, had one of the shutters fall off, so I'll go ahead and fix that for him, too, and put this all back together and get this all measured out. I'm back here at the house because there's no sense. It's, it's cold as hell outside and windy. So there'll be a two parts. Once I get this all put together, I'll do another video of showing you the finished product. Now, on these expansion valves, there's an arrow.
This is the inbound water line. This is your check valve, check valve. This is the inbound check valve for this. And it's spring loaded with a gasket on the inside. But this is brand new, so I don't have to worry about it having debris or contamination in it. And this is the check valve for the outbound line. And this diaphragm in here, if these ever go bad, you'll see these, you'll see it leaking right through here. And these are all your test ports, okay? Now, I normally don't mess with irrigation systems, but being that the economy is the way it is, all I did was, I went on YouTube this morning early. I told the guy, sure, let me go out and take a look at it. I'm not going to turn the job down. In other words, I didn't indicate to him that I didn't have uh, any experience in this. Is that as soon as I went on YouTube, all I did was watch three videos, and I knew what I had to put together. This is just some basic, this is basic plumbing, like you're plumbing a sink or something. It's really not that hard. It's that you got to be very, very cautious because... Again, once this is put in here, so you can go ahead and put this piece in first. Go ahead and thread tape these. Now remember, when you're putting these in, you turn clockwise for them to go in, okay? So when you put your thread tape on, let me get a good section piece here. When you put your thread tape on, what you want to do is you're turning clockwise, correct? And you put your thread tape in counterclockwise on your threads, just like this. Okay? Make sure you got some tension. And you want to put it on fairly thick. and gather it more towards the back, because as you go in with it, it'll also provide a lot more uh, water resistance to the thread. Okay, that's one. Remember, you gotta be very careful when you screw these in and screw them out, because this is brass, this is plastic or PVC. Okay, so same thing. Come on. There we go. I got some static on my hands from the cold weather. Okay. Say, so put a little tension on it. Like I said, I'm at my house because I don't need to assemble this in his yard because it's just damn cold outside. It's windy. So I already know all my measurements. I already know what I got to do. There we go. So now, you say you got to be very, very careful. Okay, I got that one started. Of course, you take a, a wrench and you tighten those in. And so you got to be very, very careful. See, this one here wants to be a little bit of a booger. You don't want to... You don't want to strip these threads. So this one doesn't want to go in very nicely. 
So you check for your threads, make sure there's no problems. See, this stuff doesn't want to play very well, so you got to be careful. You can look at it and see it doesn't want, see it's not cross straight. See it's wanting to go in there at a little bit of a bad angle, see? Yep, this one here doesn't want to go in, so you check, see what's going on. You can look at it and tell if it goes in right or wrong. Might have a little bit of plastic that's messing with it right there. So the best way to handle that, if you're not 100% sure, is take this off, inspect the threads, make sure there's no issues with it. Let me get my glasses on and let's inspect this. Yeah. See right there, there's a little bit of a scarring right on the thread. I'm going to definitely get that bit of plastic off of there. See, there was a little bit of scarring right there. Sure, there's no problems in here. It looks pretty clear. So you try it again. Let's go ahead and detract this tape measure since I don't need it. And since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna have to work with it over here. So bear with me. Yeah, see, it doesn't wanna go in straight. Let's see if we can get it to move past that little hiccup right there. And if it's bad, we'll just go get another one of these. But we want to make sure that this is absolutely threading in the right way. This one being very, very tough to go in. Very, very tough. And see, it's getting all messed up. So we gotta pick up another one of these. Okay, it's important that this is correct because you will have a leak. But get the you get the idea. 
and hopefully this is not damaged because this is brand new and he provided me this. The other one went in real easy, but yeah, you can already see scarring on this plastic. So this is not, this is not a good thing here. All right. I'm in this video right here. I've got to pick up another one of these because this one here is not going to work. It's already damaged. And that's the one thing you want to avoid is any problems when putting all this together. Okay. And I can keep trying to work it in there. But once the threads... It'll always want to crimp a little bit one way or another. And this one's definitely crimping. So let's go back down to Ferguson's and pick up another one of these, okay? Just for caution's sake. All right, I'm going to end the video right there. But you get the idea that plumbing can be very easy but you can also run into some serious problems also. So here I got a part that had a little bit of a hiccup on it from the very beginning, and it does not want to thread completely straight. Even though it looks like it's doing it, it's not. I can actually see that there is a slight problem with it going in. Okay? All right. Stay tuned.